In this video, we are going to complete rate problems using what is known as the unitary method. And the unitary method involves turning a quantity into a unit of one before turning it into another quantity. Now, the best way to explain this is just to go right into the examples. We're going to go through four examples. We're going to have a slide for each example just so we've got room for working out. So we'll start with question A, which says, Water is gushing out of a tap at a rate of 15 litres per minute. How much water would come out in 3.5 minutes? So we're going to use the four boxes technique, like so. And we're going to write our 15 litres per minute, and we're going to split it into two of the boxes. So we've got our 15 litres, and then we've got our one minute, remembering that the units to the right of the slash has a quantity of one, so one minute. They want to know how much water would come out in 3.5 minutes. So we'll write that down in the minutes column. And you will notice that in order to get from the one to the 3.5, we simply times by 3.5, which means we do the same thing on both sides. What's 15 times 3.5? 15 times 3.5 is 52.5. So how much water would come out in 3.5 minutes? Well, 52.5 litres is our solution. You'll notice we didn't have any discussion about what is called the unitary method. The reason for that is our question already had our quantity as a unit of one. Notice that our quantity in minutes was one. So we didn't have to use the unitary method yet. We'll do that in later examples. All right, let's move to question B. Peter paid $12.50 for five kilograms of tomatoes. How much would it cost for 3.5 kilograms of tomatoes? All right, let's draw our four boxes. And we have $12.50, so 12.50 in dollars for 5 kilograms. All right. And they want to know how much it would cost for 3.5 kilograms of tomatoes. So here we're going to talk about the unitary method where we turn a quantity into a unit of 1. And what we're going to do is we're going to convert our 5 kilograms into 1 by dividing it by 5 which means we need to do the same on the left side. We're going to divide $12.50 by 5. What do we get? 2.5. So 2.5 really means $2.50. So it's $2.50 for one kilogram of tomatoes. And when this happens, we're actually going to draw another two boxes. So it ends up becoming the six boxes technique, but that's all right. And once again, you draw two arrows and we wanted to know the cost for three and a half kilograms, 3.5 kilograms, which means we times the one by 3.5. And we do the same to both sides. What is $2.50 times 3.5? We get $8.75. That's our solution. $8.75 is how much it would cost for 3.5 kilograms of tomatoes. Going back to the unitary method, what we did is we turned a quantity into a unit of one before turning it into another quantity. And this is where we did it here. We turned our five into one and then turned the one into the other quantity of 3.5. Let's now move on to question C. Jared used 45 liters of petrol and traveled 607.5 kilometers. How far can he travel on 13 litres of petrol? Once again, we're going to do our four boxes. In fact, I'm going to draw six because I know that we're going to have to use the unitary method, which means we'll have to go for another two boxes. All right, so 45 litres of petrol and travelled 607.5 kilometres. How far can he travel on 13 litres of petrol? Now, for this one, we're actually going to turn the 45 into 1. 
And the reason we're doing that is the question wants you to find 13 liters. So that means we're going to focus on turning the liters into one and then converting the one into the 13. All right, so 45 divide 45 gives us one. So we must do that on both sides of the equation. So 607.5 divide 45 gives me 13.5, which means on one litre I can travel 13.5 kilometres. And then I want to times my 1 by 13. 1 times 13 is 13. Do the same to both sides. 13.5 times 13 gives me 175.5, which means that on 13 litres of petrol I can travel 175.5 kilometers. All right, let's now move on to question D. Joe's Health Shop sells protein powder at $6 per 100 grams, or you can buy a 1.25 kilogram container of protein for $50. Which option is the better buy? Why? All right, so for this one, Going back to our four boxes, which I, I'm quite sure will end up being six, but that's all right. We're actually going to do it twice. We're going to do it on one side for the, uh, I'll, I'll write it down, we have $6 per 100 grams on the left. And then on the right side, uh, we had 1.25 kilograms, and that was $50. Okay, so we'll have four boxes for each scenario. Alright, so the first thing I'd like to do is convert my kilograms into grams because I want the units to be the same. So I want this to be grams. And 1.25 kilograms is the same as 1,250 grams. So I'm just going to change that, put everything in the same units so that this will work. Okay. So what I think I'd, I will do is I'll use the unitary method and I will convert the grams into the number one. So I'm going to divide that by 100 and come down. I'm going to do it to both sides, uh, which gives me one gram and 0 0.06 dollars on the left. Now, on this side, if I want to convert it to one gram, I need to divide by 1,250 this time. What's $50 divided by 1,250? Well, I get $0.04. Now, what you will notice is in one scenario, it costs, well, that's the equivalent of six cents. We'll write that six cents per gram. And in the other scenario, we get 0 0.04, which is four cents per gram. So which option is the better buy? Let's write a little sentence. The 1.25 kilogram container is cheaper or is the better buy the better buy oops um, and we'll write why um, he wants to know why it is two cents cheaper per gram Rather than paying six cents per gram, we paid four cents per gram, two cents cheaper per gram. Anyway, that concludes example two. Remember to read the description below for links to theory booklets that, that relate to this example.